What would you do if you found out that every day you were being exposed to deadly substances that were affecting your health? Well, it turns out we all are. From carcinogens and makeup to the pollution we breathe in daily. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. But before we get into today's list, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is G2A.com. If you love gaming, unbeatable prices, and great steals and deals, then G2A.com is the place for you. G2A.com offers a variety of products on their site like video games, gaming consoles, tabletop games, gaming accessories, collectibles, and more. And these are all available for unbeatable prices. Unlike other stores, G2A has big sales all year round, including 90% off sales. Like what? Nothing gets cheaper than that. I personally love their selection of horror games. They have so many and for such a great price. So make sure to check the link in the description to unlock a site full of amazing products for unbelievable prices. And now let's get on with this list. Starting off this countdown, we have carcinogens in cosmetics. Turns out that the stuff that most of us put on our face daily is actually hazardous for our health. A couple of months ago, traces of asbestos were found in eyeshadow and concealer. Asbestos is known to cause cancer. Not only that, but talc is also found in trace amounts in eyeshadow and concealer, and lead is sometimes found in trace amounts in lipsticks and eyeliners. The worst products though are waterproof mascara, liquid lipsticks, and long wear foundation. These are the three main products found to have the strongest cancer causing properties. It's because these products are made up of forever chemicals. Forever chemicals are a group of synthetic chemicals that are used to make the products waterproof or last long. They also contain PFAs, a highly toxic fluorinated chemical, and they aren't even put on the packages as a warning, and that is scary. In our ninth spot, we have glycol ethers. Glycol ethers are another dangerous chemical found in cosmetics, as well as cleaning products and paints. Imagine that, cleaning your home, being like, ah, this will be better for me. Meanwhile, well, you're putting yourself at more of a risk. Anyways, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, glycol ethers is commonly found in cleaning products, liquid soaps, and cosmetics. But they are also found in degreasers, aerosol paints, adhesives, sunscreens, inks, and dyes. Short term exposure can cause serious kidney and liver damage, along with necrosis and pulmonary edema. Long term exposure causes tremors and neurological and blood effects. So make sure to check the label when buying your products to prevent buying something with this chemical. Moving on to number eight, we have phthalates. Phthalates are chemicals used to help scents and chemicals bind together. They are found in shampoos, conditioners, perfumes, hairsprays, colognes, soaps, nail polish, you name it. They're even found in shower curtains, food packaging, and vinyl flooring. Well, it's found that exposure to this chemical can cause liver, kidney, lung, and reproductive damage. Not only that, but it can cause brain damage and lower your IQ. It's scary because we all use these products on the daily. Now, one way to avoid contact with this is to get unscented products, avoid microwaving your food in plastic, and not buying any plastic items labeled as number three, number six, or number seven. Those are the ones that contain this toxin. In our seventh spot, we have lead. Now, if you have a newer home, then you don't need to worry about this. But before 1978, houses were being painted with lead-based paint. That was before they found out how dangerous this was. Obviously, lead-based paints are banned today, but if you have an older home, you need to make sure that your walls weren't painted with it. It's said that 38 million homes in America still have lead-based paint. That is insane. Even exposure to low levels of this can cause brain and kidney damage and puts women at an increased risk of miscarriage. The hazard comes from when the paint chips off and creates lead dust that you then breathe in on the daily. In fact, this is the most common source of lead poisoning. In our sixth spot, we have antiperspirants. Nobody likes sweaty or stinky pits, which is why deodorant was invented. But the thing that blocks the sweat in antiperspirants is aluminum. 
Exposure to aluminum can cause breast cancer as well as severe memory loss. It can also cause brain disease and nervous system problems. The best way to avoid this is by looking for natural deodorants, which sucks because you're still going to sweat, but at least you won't smell bad and you're not poisoning yourself. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with polytetrafluoroethylene. Say that 10 times fast. This chemical can be found in non-stick pans, which are hella convenient, but if used wrong, they can be hella deadly. So apparently if you use your pan at high temperatures, the Teflon coating on the pan will break down and it will emit a toxic gas. When you inhale those fumes, it can cause polymer fume fever, aka Teflon flu. More serious cases of this can lead to lung damage and reproductive problems. A way to avoid this would be cooking on low heat and avoid getting your pans scratched or just use stainless steel or iron skillets instead. Coming in at number four, we have the pesticides, but we all know about this one already. Pesticides are sprayed on crops to avoid bugs from eating them. As a result, it contaminates our food, soil, and water supply which is one of the reasons why you learn to wash off your fruits and veggies before eating them. It's to wash off any residue from the pesticides, but we still end up coming in contact with them. This can cause birth defects, cancer, kidney and liver and lung damage, among other things. Some pesticides also act as an endocrine disruptor and have been proven to harm animals and humans. The people most at risk to pesticides are the young or pregnant or nursing women. In our third spot today, we have air pollution. I mean, this one is a given. Air pollution, even at low levels, has a great impact on human health. Obviously, air pollution is caused by the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, or gas. Breathing in polluted air can lead to lung disease, cancer, heart disease, or heart problems, increased hospitalizations, and premature death. It also has a negative impact on our skin as well, but you know what, that's nothing compared to heart disease or cancer. In fact, a study found that one third of deaths from stroke, lung cancer, and heart disease were due to air pollution. Like that is insane! In fact, it's about on the same page as smoke and tobacco. And it's more dangerous than the effects of having a crappy diet. It's scary because this is something that we can't control. Like we can exercise and eat healthy, but we can't control the air that we breathe in. I mean, we can, don't pollute, but still. In our second spot, we have mercury. Mercury is a naturally occurring element that is very dangerous to humans. And it's scary, but we are potentially exposed to it on the daily. For example, some fish contain mercury, so eating too much fish can actually lead to mercury poisoning. Mercury poisoning symptoms can include muscle weakness, kidney problems, and brain and lung damage. Other sources of mercury are found in silver colored dental fillings, fluorescent light bulbs, and thermometers. But the light bulbs and thermometers are only a hazard if they break open. Exposure to mercury can also cause central nervous system issues, impaired vision, paralysis, and immune system complications. And in our number one spot today, we have polybrominated diaphanol ethers. Scarily enough, this chemical is found in most baby care products. Why? Well, this chemical is used as a flame retardant, aka it slows down the speed of a flame. So they're in high chairs, cribs, and strollers. So every day, your child might be exposed to this chemical. Not only that, but it's found in televisions, computers, insulation, sofas, pillows, and mattresses. Yes, the thing you lay on and sleep on daily. And mattresses contain high levels of this. The health problems associated with this chemical are brain and reproductive damage, thyroid problems, and neurological disorders. All right guys, that's all for today's video. So what did we learn? Check your labels, and if there's anything very long and you don't understand the name, it's probably bad for you. Mattresses, now I'm scared. Like, I'm gonna sleep on the floor, as long as it's not vinyl flooring. Now, now I'm scared of everything, like, Jesus. Anyway, uh, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 strongest evidence of UFOs you cannot ignore. Jojo Bowden commented, if you guys do another UFO sighting episode, can you please, please talk about the Phoenix Lights? So I actually did talk about the Phoenix Lights in a video before this one, can't remember, type in aliens or UFO. I think it was like credible UFO sighting, something like that. 
It'll be featured in that video. You're welcome. Elijah Benson commented, Hey Lindsay, love to watch your videos here and on your main channel. You have a way of presenting that makes the story more interesting and you're just cute. Take care. Thank you Elijah for subscribing to this channel and my personal one. I really appreciate it. And Pete Coolstra commented, Chips with mayonnaise. And there's also this special mayo, ketchup and onions. Just like sounds like a topping that you put on a burger, but I wouldn't want to dip my fries into a sauce of mayo, ketchup, and onions. Sriracha mayo is good, but I don't know about just mayo and ketchup. Ugh. All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.